Children born with Hirschsprung disease often suffer from enterocolitis. The best method for treating this condition is by flushing and emptying the colon with fluid, which is called rectal irrigation. You'll need the following supplies in order to perform a rectal irrigation. Two small basins, a 60 milliliter syringe with catheter tip, and a silicone catheter. If your child is under one year old, a size 16 French Foley catheter should be used. And if your child is over one year old, then you'll need to use a size 24 French Foley catheter. You'll also need water-soluble lubricant and normal saline. Start by warming the normal saline. We recommend sitting the bottle in a sink of warm water, then testing the temperature of the saline on your wrist to make sure it isn't too hot. Pour the warm saline into a small basin, then draw up 10 to 20 milliliters using your catheter tip syringe. Position your child so they are laying on their back with their knees bent to their chest, or if they are bigger, with their knees bent with feet flat on a surface. Place the empty basin next to your child. Lubricate the top two inches of the tip of the catheter and insert it into the rectum. Gently push the catheter so it follows the curves of the colon. Insert the catheter approximately four to six inches. Pause for a moment to allow any stool or gas to drain out the catheter into the empty small basin. Connect the syringe to the catheter and inject the 10 to 20 milliliters of saline. Disconnect the syringe and let the saline and any stool drain into the empty basin. Advance the catheter about one inch and repeat the process until the discarded fluid is clear. Do not advance the catheter further than the wide divider port. It is important between each injection that fluid drains into the basin. If the amount of saline you inject into the rectum is more than the amount of fluid that returns to the basin, then there is extra fluid in the rectum. To drain the extra fluid, try moving the catheter in and out while twisting. If fluid still does not come out, then the catheter may be clogged. Pull out the catheter and flush with saline into the basin before reinserting. If you think there is still fluid in the colon, you can reattach the syringe to the catheter and very gently pull back on the syringe to draw out the fluid. Do not pull back on the syringe if you feel any resistance. It's important to record the amount of saline injected into the rectum and the amount of fluid that comes out. In a good rectal irrigation, the amount that comes out is larger than what went in. Once the drained fluid is clear, remove the catheter from the rectum and wash your supplies with soap and water, then set out to dry. The supplies are reusable. For more information, please reach out to the International Center for Colorectal and Urogenital Care.